Hello friends, in today's video we shall discuss what environmental economics and ecological economics is. There are numerous environmental and natural resource issues that arise due to the interactions between human activities and the natural world such as unsustainable practices that degrade the ecosystems, endanger species and reduce the availability of vital resources. Some of the general environmental issues that we can widely see today are climate change and global warming, deforestation, water scarcity, pollution, biodiversity loss, land degradation, waste management, resource depletion, ozone layer depletion, loss of wetlands, etc. To understand the underlying causes of these problems and design effective solutions, economic principles such as scarcity and choice, demand and supply, externalities and market failure, property rights and tragedy of the commons, Pigovian taxes and subsidies, cost-benefit analysis, etc. can be applied. This is what environmental economics is all about. Thus, environmental economics is a field of economics which applies conventional economic principles to environmental and natural natural resource issues. However, ecological economics is different. Ecological economics basically looks at how our economy interacts with the nature and the environment. It brings together interdisciplinary perspectives to study the interactions between economics and ecosystems. It analyzes various economic activities such as farming, manufacturing, trade practices, provision of various services which affects the biological and physical life support systems. For instance, agriculture is essential for food security. However, unsustainable farming practices such as the use of pesticides, deforestation, over-irrigation can cause ecological issues as in the use of pesticides and other chemicals can lead to soil degradation, water pollution and harm beneficial insects. Deforestation for farming can lead to climate risk, soil erosion, biodiversity loss and over-irrigation can lead to water logging and depletion of local water resources. Similarly, mining, manufacturing, transportation, construction, tourism, etc. are some of the economic activities that create ecological imbalance. Ecological economists approach these issues with a perspective that integrates knowledge from various disciplines to create comprehensive solutions. This ensures that solutions not only address just the economic aspects of a problem but also its ecological, social and cultural dimensions as well. So how would an environmental economist, an ecological economist tackle an identical issue? issue like say for example deforestation. Let's see that. An environmental economist seeks to integrate the environment into the conventional economic framework and will focus on internalizing the external costs associated with the environmental degradation. So, an environmental economist would quantify the value of a forest in monetary terms like the revenue from timber, potential agricultural output from the cleared land, tourism revenue, etc. An environmental economist would try to assign a cost to the external impacts arising from deforestation like biodiversity loss, increased carbon emissions, local climate change and water cycle disruptions. For instance, if deforestation causes a flood due to reduced water absorption capacity of the soil and soil erosion, the cost of that flood would be attributed to deforestation. An environmental economist may also suggest imposing taxes on logging to reduce deforestation. In short, environmental economists focus on the economic value value of the environmental good or service. That is, if people are willing to pay for an environmental good or service, then it has an economic value. On the other hand, an ecological economist focuses on the intrinsic or the inherent value of the nature and ecosystems. Inherent value is derived from ethics, rights and justice rather than human willingness to pay. It means that any environmental good, say a particular species, has the right to exist and needs to be preserved even though it has no economic value. In the context of deforestation, an ecological economist would argue that forests possess an intrinsic value beyond just their economic benefits. This includes the value of biodiversity, native cultural heritage and the sheer existence of ancient natural habitats. The ripple effects of deforestation like impact on water table, nearby habitats and species are given prime emphasis by an ecological economist. An ecological economist may support to preserve 
of certain forest areas as there is a limit to how much forest area can be cut down without causing irreversible damage irrespective of the potential economic gains from cutting it down an ecological economist would also stress the importance of sustainable logging practices so that the forests can regenerate ensuring their longevity and continue to benefit humans and other species this is how an environmental economist and ecological economist would try to tackle the issue of deforestation both fields aim to address and provide solutions for environmental challenges though their methodologies philosophies and priorities differ significantly if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum thank you